Hello everyone, I'm John Hayes. I wanted to take the opportunity to send my congratulations to you all on your achievements. I hope that you're already enjoying your evening at Walsall Football Club. I know that in more than 120 years, Walsall have never reached the top division of English football. But it's nevertheless a club which has known its moments of glory. Notably, when it knocked Herbert Chapman's great Arsenal team out of the FA Cup in 1933. Your venue is doubly appropriate given in Com's 30-year history it's an organisation which has seldom made headlines but which has consistently helped employers across the West Midlands to develop the skills they need to grow and prosper. These days, Incom's contribution to the government's apprenticeship programme is one that is especially worth celebrating. Apprenticeships are at the heart of our drive to equip people of all ages with the skills employers need to compete, often in their global market and to create new jobs in their areas. We have promised to help more people to benefit from high quality apprenticeships and to encourage more employers to sign up to the scheme by cutting red tape and taking further steps to guarantee quality. The last academic year of which we have figures saw apprenticeship starts rise at a record rate with growth across all age ranges and all sectors and throughout the country. Altogether, there were 457,200 apprenticeship starts in that year, an increase of 63% over the previous year. Three quarters of employers believe that apprenticeships provide higher overall productivity, while four out of five agree they lead to a more motivated and more satisfied workforce. For young people especially, there are few better introductions to working life than an apprenticeship. That's been true for literally centuries, but today more than ever, an apprenticeship can offer not only the job skills needed for a good and satisfying career, but also the first step on a ladder of learning that can continue throughout a person's working life and lead to qualifications at a higher level. Indeed, I want advanced level apprenticeships to become the level to which learners and employers aspire. And I want to ensure there are clear routes into higher level skills training, including, but not exclusively, higher apprenticeships. Equally important, at whatever level an apprentice qualifies, I want to ensure their success is celebrated. They have achieved something which they and their families can be proud. In fact, they've achieved something which their community should recognise and value too, not least by setting an example to other young people of how far you can go with drive and commitment. That's one reason why my department is working with the National Apprenticeship Service to introduce graduation ceremonies for apprentices and their families, just like tonight's, to celebrate the success of apprentices. We also have a higher apprenticeship achievers role, and I'm determined that the achievements of apprentices should be recognised just as those who graduate from university have their achievements recognised. And so I'd like to close by saying a hearty well done to all those whose success you've come together to celebrate tonight. Congratulations. I hope you all enjoy 